Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. This is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topics. So today's topic is the next part in the series of uh, inventory evaluation which we have started quite a while ago. So till now we have covered a few valuation method like weighted average, uh, FIFO, LIFO and some adjustments on these valuation method. So today we are going to talk about the next valuation method which is available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 which is weighted average by date. So if you would like to watch the other previous videos, I have put the playlist in the description box. So if you want to go through that, please check that out. So let's start the today's topic and uh, let's understand what is weighted average by date. So if you talk about weighted average by date, uh, this is the similar uh, valuation method. Uh, it, the principle for calculating the uh, weighted average, uh, the cost for the product is sim similar to your weighted average but there is a, a, a small difference between the weighted average and weighted average by date. And the basic difference is that the average value for all the receipts up to the date of the issue, that is the date weighted average doesn't take into the account the cost receipt which takes place after you issue. So I'm going to explain you this by one example. Whereas in the weighted average, it consider all the receipts in the period plus also the on hand uh, from the previous period. So it doesn't consider the date for calculating the weighted average cost for your issue. And as we know that the, the inventory valuations are majorly used or only the purpose for inventory valuation is to use or to derive the cost of issue for the inventory value. One of the uh, w one more important thing about the moving uh, weighted average by date is that we should also use the inventory closing process to have the effective use of this particular valuation method. So let's let's see like how uh, it works in the uh, system. So before jumping to the system, uh, let's uh, take one example which we will be executing in Microsoft Dynamics 365 and see that are we getting the expected result what we are discussing in this particular example. So if you see my screen, uh, I have taken two examples. Let's take an example that uh, we have two valuation method, weighted average and the weighted average by date. And what we are going to do is that we are going to have a inventory receipt uh, on these three different dates for both the valuation methods, okay? And the quantity is same. The only thing which is changing is the value uh, for these quantity. So if I consider the receipt for, or for, for both the items for both the valuation method, it is same. And at this point of time, if I calculate my uh, total the cost price or the average cost price based on the receipt which I have right now, then it will be 20 because 100 plus 200 plus 300, 600 divided by 30. And similarly for the weighted average cost, uh, weighted average by the date. But let's say, so this is the receipt, these are the receipt on 1st, 5th and 10th of January. But let's assume if we issue the inventory on 8th of January, okay? So please consider this date very carefully because the 8th of January is after the first two received and the before the last receipt. I am issuing 10 quantity. What is the expected cost price for this? Is it going to be 200 which is to 20, my 20 divided by uh, multiplied by 10? So in Dynamics, what it will do is that when at the time of posting of the transaction, it is going to post based on the normal weighted average, like how it does for the FIFO and the LIFO, uh, FIFO and the LIFO valuation methods. So for both the valuation method, it is going to post a 200. And once we run the inventory recalculation, the system is going to derive 
the actual cost price or actual inventory valuation for the weighted average by date for the weighted average it won't change it because that's the actual weighted average you have for that uh, particular product but for this it is going to post a adjustment of 50 and why this adjustment for 50 is going to be posted is because our issue date is the 8th which is of which is before this so for calculating the cost price for that particular issue the system should only consider the all the received before that date so the only receipts which we have before that date are 1st january and the 5th january which is 100 plus 200 and which is 300 divided by 20 which will come as 15 and 15 into 110 multiplied by 150 so in this case system is going to post the cost price of 150 now since system has already posted a cost price of 200 now during the recalculation this is going to make an adjustment of 50 so now let's see this example in the system and see how it works so this is my microsoft dynamics 365 screen now if you see i have taken two examples here one is the weighted average product a and there is a weighted average by date product x now if you see the item model group for this i have used the weighted average and pwa which is periodic weighted average if i click on this just to check how it is going to how, how it is being configured so if you see i have selected the weighted average by date for this and if i go to another pro, another uh, item model group for the product a so this is having a weighted average uh, a simple weighted average method selected here okay so in our example which we were talking about uh, which is our uh, excel spreadsheet where the 50 adjustment is going to be posted that should get posted for the product x for not for the product a now for the simplicity what i have done is that i have uh, created a inventory journal i am not going to create uh, 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 for the receipt the uh, the purchase order but you can do for any type of receipts so i have created one journal here now if i open this journal what i have done i have created three receipts for each product on the dates uh, 1st 5th and the 10th of january and if you see the product price i have taken similar to like how i have mentioned in the excel spreadsheet now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to post this uh, uh, particular inventory adjustment journal and we will see that how it is reflecting in our uh, inventory transaction because as you know i have been saying that it is very important for us to understand the impact of these posting uh, in the back end or in the inventory transaction or the inventory value report that how it is going to be reflected so let's go to the inventory transaction screen and see that how it is going to be reflected there so now if you see my screen for the inventory transactions it is showing all my receipts using the inventory journal and this is available and my cost amount is being updated here okay now what I have also done parallelly is I have created the issue for these two product as an inventory journal and that is where it is showing me as a on order quantity for this per these particular products here. So let's go back to our inventory journal screen and I have this inventory journal. Now what I'm doing is that as per my Excel spreadsheet example, I am just uh, posting the issue of 10 quantities on 8th of january which means it is before the last receipt and after the first two receipts and i'm going to post this uh, particular inventory journal and then it has been posted and now let's go back to our inventory transaction screen and let's see that what is the cost price or the cost amount it is going to be updated as we have seen in the excel spreadsheet it should update the cost amount as 200 because 20 each because at this point of time it will be considering all the receipts which it is having as a normal weighted average so let's refresh this screen and see this so as expected for both the product on 8th of january it is showing this one now what we are going to do is that the next thing is we have to run the inventory recalculation for these two product and see that how this particular 
uh, amount for the product X is going to be adjusted from 200 to 150 and for the product A it should remain unchanged because it is having the correct valuation method or correct calculation based on the valuation method. So now I am on the uh, recalculation screen and I'm going to recalculate the inventory and I'm going to select only these two products and I'm going to run this. So let's see after running this, what is the impact we get it. So now my inventory recalculation is finished and I can see that it has been completed. Now I can go to the detail and see the adjustment. And as expected, it has posted the adjustment of 50 for the principle of calculating weighted average by date. And this is for the product X. If I go back to my inventory transaction, this 200 should be updated as 150. If I refresh this screen, so this is how it has been updated. So I hope it is very clear for you now that how the inventory valuation uh, for the weighted average by date is being calculated. It is similar to your weighted average, but it just considered the period, a specific period while calculating the issue cost price and by not calculating or not considering the inventory receipts after that particular date. And as I mentioned that for this valuation method to take place in a very effective manner, it is very important that we perform the inventory close. Uh, we are going to talk about the inventory closing process in future videos because that's a very critical step for every organization. We'll talk about that in detail. Uh, just to mention few other things like when we talk about the weighted average by the date, there are certain more scenarios which are available. So I think this is for you to explore more that there are additional scenarios like when you do the weighted average date, uh, direct settlement, summarize settlement uh, with the includes of physical inventory and without inclusive of the physical inventory that how it is going to behave. The basic principle is going to remain same which we have spoken. Uh, but I request you to go and practice with these things just to give you the hint about the direct settlement and the summarized settlement is very uh, the basic difference is that let's say if you have uh, five different receipts and there are five different uh, uh, issues right so when you run the inventory recalculation or the inventory closing process so for applying the weighted average by date principle all these four uh, or five receipts which you have already posted should be summarized to one settlement into for the weighted average right one settlement should be generated or so that will call that will call a summarized settlement but if you want like which weighted average by date is, is receipt is being applied to the to the to the issue in that particular period then that is called as direct settlement so I hope this video helps you to understand the weighted average by date principle and also it helps you to the difference between the weighted average and weighted average by date. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.